we can make a drinking game every time you <laughs> screw up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get so jacked on <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the second episode of Brews and Reviews. We're doing it different than the first one today. We're sipping on a different kind of brew. We got some coffees here. Yum. I'm joined by owner of the shop, Graham Healy. Hello, everybody. What you drinking? Where'd you uh, go? So we went to Northside Espresso Kitchen. Uh, most people, I think, just call it Northside. Grab some coffees. Uh, I'm trying something new today. On the menu, it is called Magic. Who doesn't like magic? Uh, <laughs> they told me that it's uh, essentially a, a slightly different version than a long white. Never had a long white before. Kind of new to coffee, but I'm digging it. I like it. Rob, what are you drinking? Okay, I already had my coffee intake for the day, so I went for the decaf and a little spice of chocolate in there. So I got the de uh, the decaf mocha. Decaf mocha. Uh, and it is delicious. Solid. Right. So we are doing a review today on some products from Topeak. Uh, we've got a few different things that we're going to talk about, a few different kind of ride essentials, uh, and we're going to dig into them right now. Graham, what are we going to talk about today? What do we got in front of us here? So uh, laid out beautifully in front of us are three, like you say, ride essentials from Topeak. Uh, we've got the Mini 20 Pro Multi-Tool, uh, the Race Rocket, does come in two different uh, uh, volumes. This is the HP, high pressure for kind of more road and gravel. Uh, and then we also have the Ninja T Mountain, which is uh, a basically a carrying case for uh, the Mini 20 Pro or other similar sized multi-tools. Okay, so awesome. Uh, let's see here. Now let's dig into each one of them individually and talk about What's what? With okay. These products. I personally use two out of three of these, so I'm interested to hear about the Ninja because I don't have that one. Yep. Um, but let's start off with your thoughts on the Mini. Yeah. So uh, the Mini Pro tw Twenty Mini Twenty Pro, uh, as it suggests, has uh, twenty different tools in it, which is is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, it's got a wide range of Allen keys from two mil up to ten mil. Uh, I think every Allen key you're, you're going to need on a bike is covered in that, unless you're taking a, a free hub body out of a wheel. Um, it's got spoke wrenches, uh, three different size spoke wrenches, uh, sorry, four different size spoke wrenches, a chain tool, uh, a little piece to hold the chain, uh, tire levers, screwdrivers, uh, torques as well, two different torque sizes. So really this, the 20 tools that are in here cover almost everything you'd need on a ride for either mountain, gravel, or road. Yeah, definitely. I've never been skunked with this tool. Yeah, exactly. I take I, it with me on every gravel ride, every mountain ride, um, and it's always got what I need. Exactly. I mean, I, I, th I think the only kind of note to say would be it does have a tire lever, but I, if I'm carrying this, I am carrying an extra set of tire levers as well uh, with a little bit more leverage, but, you know, in a pinch, the tire lever works, so... Yeah, yeah, awesome. Awesome so, tool. So on a mountain bike ride for me, I throw it in the Camelback. Uh, gravel ride, I don't wear a pack, but it's all. I take my my spare tube and I elastic that to my tube, put it in the middle pocket. Yep. It's nice and light. It's like it's not even there. I love yep. that tool. Yeah. No, it's a great tool. Um, and uh, yeah, like we said, it's a, it's an essential for a ride. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, my man. Moving on, we've got the let's, race rocket. Let's get pumped up. The race rocket <laughs> HP. <laughs> uh, again, I use this. I take it with me on every ride. On um, the gravel bike, it's mounted to the frame with this handy little bottle cage mount. Uh, mountain bike in the pack. Yeah. Tell us about that pump. So, been selling selling hand pumps for a while, and uh, and honestly, for the size, uh, the compactness, this is a, a surprisingly fast pumping. Uh, pump. Okay. <laughs> it'll, it'll inflate your tires to pressure really quickly. Uh, so, I mean, that alone is, is, a, is a good reason to sell it. Um, uh, like I said, the size is nice and small, sleek, out of the way. The other feature that um, other pumps do have this feature, it's not like it's exclusive to Topeak, but the other feature that uh, really, I think, sets it apart is the fact that it's got the hose. It's yeah, not a nice. it's not a fixed head. Yeah. The problem with fixed head pumps, uh, it, you're, it, when you you know maybe the first few strokes it's fine, but once you're getting up to pressure, you start rocking the valve a little bit more, and you're just going to be tearing the valve away from the tube, and 
and possibly getting a flap. Um, the other nice feature, uh, which again I'm not sure is unique to Topeak, but certainly uh, certainly this this their system is probably prior. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Proprietary. Proprietary. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it was a P word. Um, uh, but essentially, it, it switches from Schrader to Presta with a few unscrews. So right now it's set to Schrader, you can hook it up to the valve and pump, and then if you want to go to Presta, you literally just undo it a few turns, and then it's set to there Presta. There it is, you know, you need to flip it. So I know a lot of people have used pumps in the past where you gotta unscrew the cap, pull out the little rubber grommet, flip it around, flip the little plastic piece, you know, put it all back together. It's not as intuitive as just unscrewing it. Right. So, so there you go. If you're running a Frankenstein setup with the Schrader in the front <laughs> and the <laughs> yeah. back, you don't Or just more than one bike, Rob. I mean, people <laughs> <Right>. do that. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no, but honestly, it's uh, it's a really great pump. We It's by far our best seller. But uh, yeah, great product from Topeak. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, moving on down the line. We're not even going to cut here. Let's just keep rolling. Let's just roll it, yeah. We have this thing that I'm super curious about. I don't know anything about this Ninja T Mountain. So what is this? So uh, it, it's uh, as the name implies, it's uh, stealthy like a ninja. Um, what this is is it, it's um, a carrying case for a tool, specifically the uh, like we mentioned before, the Mini Twenty Pro uh, fits right in, in underneath here. And the idea with this is that it fits just underneath where your water bottle mounts. Uh, so. Again, for people that maybe don't have or don't want to have a seat pouch or aren't riding with a jersey with pockets in the back, um, it's just a nice compact way to have your water bottle, your tool all in one spot, um, keeping the weight on the bike as opposed to carrying it in a pack or something like that. That's aces, because how many times do you get out on a ride and you either got lazy and didn't throw the tool in the, jer in the jersey pocket or you just forgot it? Yeah. It's always on the bike. Yeah, you're never with a for, for the forgetful folks out there. This is uh, this is really handy. Yeah, um, and yeah, it's uh, you can you can say you're a ninja when you're when you're riding with this. <laughs> Yes. This is a, a huge benefit to this tool. <laughs> so yeah, those are uh, kind of the three essential products from Topeak that we would suggest people take with them on a ride. Um, Who's using these tools? Are uh, we, is this like? I mean, obviously it'll cross genres of riding, but yeah. is a commuter taking these with them? Well, I mean, if you're commuting a kilometer, you're probably not taking it with it. But it, you know, if you're if you've got a five, ten kilometer commute, and you you know, if you're halfway through and you get a flat. Uh, it's nice to be able to fix it, or if you're halfway through and you know your your seat gets loose or something, it's it's nice to have those tools. Um, so yeah, I would say it, it really does apply to most people riding a bike, uh, whether it's for recreation or uh, for a purpose like commuting. So it, I think most cyclists are using these. All right. Yeah. And what about availability? Can we can we pop by the shop and grab these? Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. These are products that we uh, are, do our best to keep in stock all year round. Uh, certainly the, the hottest seller is, is our pump here, but uh, yeah, lots of stock at the shop. Yeah. Awesome. And all of these things would fit into a stocking per se. Yes, yeah. <laughs> if you've got a cyclist in the family and uh, that stocking season is coming up, uh, uh, yes, these fit nicely in those. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our second episode of Brews and Reviews, the coffee edition. Um, big shout out to Northside Espresso for hooking us up with the bevies. Yeah, delicious. Uh, if you're ever down at Northside, I recommend getting the Avo Smash with a poached egg on top and a little bacon on the side. Don't forget the homemade hot sauce they, use, they have there. It's uh, probably the best dish of food you can get in Kingston. I, I'm, I'm saying it here, so. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. On Brews and Reviews. Check out the Northside for sure, <laughs> yeah. And the owners, can we give them a little shout see? Yeah, Jess and Kate, uh, Katie, uh, they, uh, they've been around, I think, I gotta say it's probably more, almost five years they've five been years. around. And uh, yeah, they come by the shop and get their bikes fixed up here and I go down and get my caffeine fix from them. So yeah, no, they're great people and uh, an Princess awesome and restaurant. Princess and Clergy. Yeah, right at Princess and Clergy, yeah. All right, I'm gonna kick it with a bonus question. I said we oh. were done. We're not. We're not done. <laughs> I hit this in the back here. I'm not a pouch guy. <laughs> He's no kangaroo. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm more of a, a pack guy, but a lot of people are down to put their tools, their pump, their extra tubes in a little thing like this under the seat. 
You want to tell us about this? Thing? Yeah. The so, Arrow Wedge Pack. So the from Topeak, the again one of our best sellers uh, is the Arrow Wedge. Uh, this this one is the uh, the type that clips in and out. There is another type that just uh, Velcro straps. Um, it's a nice size. They come in a small, medium, and large. Uh, you know, for your your uh, your roadie, your commuter, and your all day adventurer, you've got different sizes. Um, I am a I am a pouch pouch pal. <laughs> I'm a pouch pal, <laughs> <laughs> and we can still ride together. And we can still ride together. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, no, just another product from uh, from Topeak that'll kind of keep everything together for you. Yeah. All right. All right. Nice job on the bonus question. <laughs> okay. okay. So any questions about any of these products? Drop them in the comments. We'll hit you back. Um, and any topics or products that you'd like to see reviewed on the show, also leave that in the comments because we'd love to hear your suggestions and chat about some more bike products in the future. Yeah, for sure. All right. Awesome. Cheers, man. Ding. All right. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hammer that like button and subscribe because we've got more coming to you. Thank you very much.